Amid Taiwan's declining birth rate, the central government has been welcoming the hiring of foreign workers to address the persistent labor shortage. For over 30 years, Taiwan has permitted foreign workers to come to the island, and many now qualify for old age benefits. In the past five years, foreign nationals have applied for 1.63 billion NT dollars in total pension benefits, with individual lump sum amounts ranging from 50,000 NT dollars to 110,000 NT dollars. There are currently more than 1.8 million people receiving old age pensions, with the average amount being approximately 18,000 NT dollars a month. By the end of last year, there were 378 insured foreign workers receiving old age pensions. Despite this, the number of foreign workers receiving old age benefits remains low. Regulations state that foreign workers who work in Taiwan for up to 15 years can qualify for monthly pension payments. However, under Article 52 of the Employment Service Act, migrant workers in the industrial sector cannot work for more than 12 years and migrant caregivers cannot work for more than 14 years. This makes them ineligible for monthly pension benefits, leaving them only able to claim a lump sum payment. More importantly, many have expressed concern about Taiwan's depleting labor insurance fund, raising questions about the sustainability of these foreign labor retention plans. I think there's a special feature of social insurance. It's similar to public debt in that it has an intergenerational transfer effect. If people apply for annuity insurance and receive it for the rest of their lives, it will become a burden for future generations. The associate professor suggested that to avoid putting pressure on the younger generation, pension benefits should be restricted to Taiwanese citizens, those who hold resident certificates, and those who have lived in Taiwan. Experts advise that lump sum pension payments might be more workable adding that corresponding regulation changes are also needed to ensure the labor insurance fund remains viable. Xie Danci, He Jiayang, Vivian Xiao, TVBS World Taiwan.